How are you feeling right now going into this week? Uh, I mean, I feel good about our, you know, our performance. I feel good that we're starting to have some success. But truthfully, the message we're sending to our guys, the message we're going to continue to send is let's just, you know, stay in the moment and not get, you know, caught up in anything right now. We're still, we still got a long ways to go, and there's still a lot of season left, and every game's equally critical, and every point is equally critical, and, you know, we just have to respect the process and move ahead, and that's all we're telling the guys right now. What do you think? Go ahead, yeah, just, I mean, what would you attribute the, the huge turnaround that we've seen, I guess, in the last month? I think there's a lot of things. I mean, I think that... Um, you know, we're diff certainly a different team than we were prior to Christmas, and I think that, you know, a lot of that you have to, uh, we have Shane back in our lineup, who's certainly our heartbeat and our leader, and that makes a, a great difference to us. I think that um, you're seeing, you know, maturing of a lot of guys. You know, we started the year with, uh, you know, Franti and Black, who didn't play a ton last year. Black played forward for us, and Franti, you know, played, you know, half the games, and then you add that with Ballou and Uremko, two freshman defensemen. Four of our six guys weren't real experienced at that point. And consequently, your goaltenders had to face probably some shots they, they, you know, you wouldn't like them to face, and I don't think that either of those guys had great starts to the year, and I think those guys, you know, Ate's kind of come around right now. Certainly he's playing, looks like he did a year ago for us. So I, I think there's a number of things, you know, Dom Shine has kind of caught fire. We've found a little bit of... Uh, you know, supplemental scoring last weekend. I don't think those guys got an empty netter, but they, they were held off the board. And Payne's line was great on Friday, and, uh, you know, we had a goal from Brock on Saturday. So I think it, it's just a lot of things, and I think when you start having a little success, you start feeling better about yourself. So there's a lot of those things. What do you think has helped Ate, you know, become this three shutouts in a row kind of guy? Well, I, think, I think Ate, I think Ate, it, it, Ate's a great kid who nobody works harder or is more focused than him. And I don't think Ate was pleased with our play or his play the first part of the year. And I think that Ate just, you know, I mean, all these guys have been extremely resilient and have uh, stayed focused. And I'm really proud of that and really, you know, happy with that. And I think Ate did that. He just stayed focused, kept grinding, kept working. And uh, right now he's, you know, he's playing exceptionally well. Let's talk about your opponent. What does Alaska bring to the table? You know, there, there, there's a there's a ton of teams I think in our league. There's probably seven, maybe eight teams that are that are almost the same. And um, you know, these guys always play. I have a lot of respect for their coach. Dallas is an excellent coach. Does a good job every year. I can tell you, they play with a lot of speed. They bring a, a ton of forechecking energy to the game. And you know, it's going to come down again to goaltending and special teams and managing the puck. And it's it's a it's a big series for us. Won four games in a row now, including three straight shutouts. And the confidence there, and guys are just feeling it right now. Well, I guess the question is, you know, the team itself, like we're coming together, and uh, it's the end of the year right now. So uh, it's it's really nice to see Ate coming along in the second half. He's he's looking like the carry price of the WCHA. <laughs> so no, but actually he's doing awesome, and uh, he's he's having a great second half. And so is the team. I guess I to talk about it, talk about three straight shutouts. I guess specifically against Bowling Green, how were you able to completely shut them out for two nights? Uh, for sure, it's it's a team team effort. Full, full out, like they're un unbelievable in front of me. If I gave rebounds, they cleared it out. So they they made it so much easier for me. Talk about that one save that everyone's talking about. The one that it just looked like a sure goal, and you were able to to. See basically just snatch it out of the air. Yeah, it happens. I, I was a little desperate at, at the time, so I just tried to throw everything out there. I just saw the release, so I knew he's coming like a little bit higher, so I just tried to put my glove right there. And this time it hit, hit my glove. And I'm pretty sure I slowed it down with my glove. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. No, that was good. That was, we needed it, so Ate was there. Uh, it's been about a year since you guys played Fairbanks. What do you guys remember from them? I I can't remember much. Uh, <laughs> I think they had like they lost a couple of key guys, like the Morley guy, or and but, like I think they're a really good team. Uh, they're up in the standings, so we like in this league, like every team is a good team. Everybody can beat anyone, so any given now, so we have to bring it both nice. Yeah, you know they're they're a team we're competing with and. 
this is a huge point weekend. And when you think about that, it comes game by game. you you got to be ready. And uh, they're going to come out to play just as hard as we are. And we're prepared and ready for it. How do you keep racking up awards week after week? Is it just you kind of just shrug them off at this point? Or do you have, <laughs> you have enough shelf room at home or the apartment or whatever? Yeah, there's there's a lot of room, but uh, we d I didn't have like me and like the whole team. We didn't have a good first half, so it's good to get the teams going for the second half right now, where the like it counts the most when we want to make the playoffs. So it's it's great thing to like have some success as a team right now.